such a blessing to come out here in the prelims and run a fantastic time. The NCAA record was a, a ultimate goal for me uh, for the NCAA. I just thank the Lord for blessing me with this talent, so I love him and his name. You surprised? <laughs> um, not really, but I, I know I had the potential to go out there and run a great time, but I'm just, I'm just so excited. It's, it's overwhelming right now. What went right for you out there today? Um, I just stayed very relaxed, trying to think about the crowd or my other opponents. I just focused on my first, my 10 um, hurdles in my own lane, and I came in and executed a great race. How tough will you to refocus on the final? Um, it'll be just the same, the same way. Just trying to stay relaxed and remember what I came out here to do and execute a great race and focus on what I have to do. How long have you been thinking about that record? Um, since the beginning of the season, but I try not to think about it too much and just let it happen. But you knew right away. I, you, you knew I, didn't know, I didn't know I broke the record. I just knew that it was a great race. And I kind of hit like probably the seventh hurdle, but I just, want, I just want to make sure I got to the finish line and I finished the race. You, you said that was the ultimate goal, but you've already achieved it. Now you still have to win an NCAA championship. Yes. You kind of refocused the goals a little. Uh, of course, NCAA, running the Nationals was um, another goal of mine. But again, I just come, try to come out here and focus on what I have to do and just try to run great races and, and, and then everything that happened on its own. Did it feel good from the start? I mean, it felt great. I felt, I felt great. My body felt great. Everything felt right. <laughs> did, did you feel like you were, that was all you had left, or is there more in there? Um, I don't know. We'll see um, on Saturday. What was your reaction when you woke up on Saturday? Uh, I was just so excited. It was. I just felt so thankful. It, it, I just. It's overwhelming right now. I just can't contain. The, it's, I have so much in me right now. It's just, I'm just happy and thankful. How are you spelling the big improvement this year? Um, just being focused and training really hard and make sure I do things that I need to do to take care of my business on track. Just did a quick look over there of, uh, of stats. It looked like since 1972, all but three Olympics that time would have won it. What does I mean? What, what does that mean when you look at yourself now at that caliber? Bless. I just feel blessed because. Um, God bless me with this talent, and I just coming out here and glorify His name, and just doing the best that I can. I just I'm just very thankful. Green USA is a few weeks down the road too. Is that what are you thinking about when it comes to Des Moines? Um, I'm very excited to uh, compete against the, the pro athletes, and I just, again, I'm just going to focus on what I have to do and let everything happen on its own. Green, you said you hit the seventh hur uh, hurdle. What, what did you hit it with? Uh, with my trail leg, my knee. But again, I just had to refocus and make sure I just get to the finish line and finish my race. You just Raise it with your, your right knee? My knee, yes. My left knee. Left knee? Yes. Besides that, did everything feel perfect? Or is there anything, obviously, great run, is there anything you can take away from this to improve on? Um, I can't think of anything right now. Um, of course, my coach always tells me, um, when you run a personal best, you can't really remember the things that you have done because you ran so fast. So I just go back and look at the film and re um, critique it and see what I can do the next time I, I can beat. Can you break your record Saturday? We'll see. Best of luck. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Great race.